opportunity to play the early match on Saturday. Mm-hmm. It's Austin against the LA Galaxy. Galaxy, some nervy moments in that game against San Jose mm-hmm. Earthquakes. Eric Zavaleta was sent off in the second half. They did held on for a 4-3 victory. Some decent value, like plus 132 on the money line for the best team in Major League Soccer. The total is set at three. And I'm happy to say each and every one of us has a pick for this game. Uh, Bob, do you want to bat lead off here? Where are you going with this one? Sure, I'll get you started here. Here we have the the best team in the Western Conference, the LA Galaxy, against mediocre Austin FC, who, you know, they've won three of their last four, but they were two rivalry matches, and I I think one against San Jose. We're we're not even going to count that as a real soccer game. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a a blank slate here. I'm taking the better team, Austin, with the draw no bet at minus 138. Um, I, I will manage, you know, I was looking at the double chance. Odds aren't good enough. The win alone. Austin can be tricky at home. Those green lights flashing at you. So I am happy with LA galaxy draw no bet at minus minus one thirty eight. Yep. Uh, Dan, what's your play? Yeah. So for me, the only thing that worried me a little bit was just when you looked at the XG numbers and when you had the best XG team facing off against the worst, It just made me wonder, like, why isn't this line a little bit steeper? And you have to factor in, like you said, some of the green lights flash in a little bit here. But all we've seen in the betting market is support for the L.A. Galaxy in this one. You know, the number used to be plus 151 if you wanted to take the draw no bet out of it. Now it's plus 130 in some spots, some of the sharper books. So sharp bettors, I'll tell you what, there ain't no public money coming in on a Tuesday in the MLS. These are guys who are doing this for a living that are betting here on Tuesday. So when I saw that, it just kind of made me want to stay away and got me thinking, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about the over. Five home fixtures this year, 21 goals here um, for, for Austin in those matches. Um, over two and a half, 15 straight matches at Q2 going back to last season. You talk about the beat both teams to score that's hit in 12 straight LA galaxy away games going back to last season. So I don't want to play a crazy juiced over. Cause I feel like maybe I'm going to be asking LA to score all those goals. So I'm going to simplify it. Shocker newbie first halves here. Uh, I'm going to go first half in the it, first half over. Um, it's about minus 115. It's a goal and a quarter. I think we see too early in this one. I think it could be um, a, a game where you're seeing at least three, four nets. So, um, so I'm going to go over in the first half, get it done early. I mean, that's what the, that's what the data shows and suggests where this game will head. I had the exact same play as Bob, uh, LA Galaxy pick them, uh, draw no bet on the money line. I actually locked in at minus 128. That number's already shifted out to minus exactly. 140. That's market correction there. And if that's where the line is, what I'd recommend is just play the Galaxy on the money line. Um, just they're by far the better team. Uh, I can make that an official play if I could actually change that play to Galaxy outright at plus 132. The best team in Major League Soccer on the money line against an average at best Austin team. Just digging into the numbers, they, Austin are the 27th best team in terms of expected goals at home. Just 1.02 on the season. And 28th in Major League Soccer in t- terms of home expected goals at 1.76. And like you mentioned, Dan, they have the worst overall expected goal differential per mm-hmm. game in Major League Soccer. The Galaxy, by the way, they're an over team, so I don't mind the overplay. They've gone over two and a half in seven of eight. Both teams' score is played in eight of nine. Beyond that, the Galaxy have scored 12 away goals and have scored in every away game. And they've scored three goals in three of them. They beat Vancouver, Kansas City, and San Jose all the way from home, scoring more than three goals. And the draw, only draw that they had was in Nashville. Uh, and they lost at LAFC, which is a tough place to go anyway. So this is a really good away side. Uh, their manager, Greg Vanny, I mean, he's tried, tested, and true in Major League Soccer. He's getting the most out of this team right now. And they actually have the fourth best away expected goals per game. By the way, they played to a 3-3 in this fixture last season. That's why if that pick and play at that number that we were planning on locking into or I did lock into originally for the Galaxy made a whole lot of sense for me but if it's going to shift out to the minus 140 minus 150 range I'd rather just make an outright play on the Galaxy to win this game. Uh, anything da- else to add guys or shall we move yeah. on to our number second? Bob go if, ahead. If you want to get a little spicy Austin is particularly susceptible around the outside. Their fullbacks can get beaten so yes. I'm looking mm. at the LA Galaxy Greg Vanny system. He loves wingers. He gives you know his full trust in them. So if you really want to look at a player to score 
Paint Sill, Peck, love both of those, and Pooj with an assist. I'm going to be looking at those a little later in the week. Brilliant.